Hey guys, Mark Allen, VH Spring Solutions, LLC, and VHSpringSolutions.com. Back again for another session of High Power University. This is a little different uh, subject matter session for High Power University in that um, this is also um, a publication and a recordation of a, um, a redesigned recoil spring guide rod for high power pistols. And this is for all high power pistols. Um, uh, of um, all makers, manufacturers, all generations, <clears throat> all barrel lengths, uh, and as we're going to get to here in just a moment, one thing that the the high powers that you see uh, on the screen there, um, those being a uh, FN or Browning high power, and um, this would be an FM Detective, uh, Argentine made, and an Arcus 94C uh, four-inch barrel compact um, high power uh, from Bulgaria. All of these have different recoil spring guide rods, and they all have one thing in common, and that is these handguns will become obsolete when the recoil spring guide rod spring inside the guide rod, and here would be a regular full-size guide rod for this model uh, size. Um, there's a spring inside the guide rod and it puts pressure on that detent ball. That detent ball controls the positioning of the slide stop, and when that spring inside has expired, in other words, when it can no longer exert enough energy, and that's what springs do when they're compressed and wear themselves out, um, the, 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 the detent ball can no longer hold the position of the slide stop. And basically, what that means is the... Um, uh, here, we'll use this one. It's got a easier to videotape slide stop. Um, what will happen is the, uh, the what's making that slide stop stay in the down position as you see there is pressure from the recoil spring guide rods detent ball that I just showed you in that recoil spring guide rod. And because it exerts sufficient pressure on the slide stop, the slide stop's going to stay or uh, be influenced to the down position during shooting. And uh, is not going to rattle up and uh, lock your slide back before the magazine is empty. When, and again, that's one of the symptoms of a recoil spring guide rod that is requiring replacement is a, in the high power pistol, is a locking back of the slide by the slide stop, but the magazine is not yet empty. Um, that is almost always a, um, a, uh, a recoil spring guide rod that is uh, 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 past the end of its useful life. So um, BA Spring Solutions has redesigned the, the recoil spring guide rod. The uh, FM Detective model, it has a full length guide rod. You can see the end of it right there. And those traditionally looked like that. And there's a spring. This is a, the, the OEM guide rod. There's a spring inside here and it puts pressure again on a detent ball and that spring is non-replaceable because these can't be taken apart. None of them can. The Arcus 94C, they just uh, made a shorter version of the original guide rod. And, of course, it has a shorter spring, and it's uh, got a shorter uh, service life than the uh, full size even. And um, the problem, uh, basically, is not, you know, it's been, you know, terribly expensive to replace these parts. The problem is, is nobody's making them anymore. You won't find one of these, I don't know of anywhere, for the Arcus 94C. Um, nobody has uh, supplied the FM Detective uh, except BH Spring Solutions for years and years. And um, the full uh, size traditional kind of guide rod, um, uh, Browning's supply is running out and they're not going to supply them anymore. And um, VH Spring Solutions has no intentions of making them. It is a difficult, not only are these limited life parts, these, um, uh, which is a problem, they're also very, very difficult to make parts. And I'm going to um, show you what I mean there. This is one of BH's um, early, uh, one of our first prototypes of an FM detective guide rod. And this is one of our later production. And what I want to show you is, you see how the protrusion of the ball is farther out or higher on uh, this later uh, manufacturer compared to this one. That hole for that detent ball is drilled on a radius 
and that is a seriously, seriously difficult machining maneuver um, that requires, um, you know, expensive special tooling and, um, and a feat of engineering as well. Uh, the Gersan um, MCP35 uh, high power from Turkey that was just released recently, um, that detent ball is really, really too high. In fact, it's a risk of popping right on out of the hole. Um, this was an Arcus production, and they got it really right. Uh, you can see the level of it there as compared to the uh, Gersan on the left. So it, these were also, not only are they limited life parts, um, that can make your handgun virtually obsolete if you're unable to replace the recoil spring guide rod. They're also um, very, very difficult to make. So BH Spring Solutions is um, announcing that we have um, designed the uh, BH Advanced Recoil Spring Guide Rod. The first ones of these just released are for FM detective models. And these recoil spring guide rods have a difference. And in the design, and I'm going to demonstrate that now. Looks, uh, looks a little different. You're going to notice that uh, the construction and design here in this area is different. Still have the detent ball you see there, um, but it is uh, obviously a different design. This is, again, for the FM detective model. Now, the, the difference in this design, not only is a uh, difference in the design here, um, there is a detent ball, but we've eliminated the detent ball spring. So there is no spring inside this component. It is non-disassemblable, um, and it's uh, maintenance-free, and it's one piece, just as you see it right here. And um, we've eliminated the, the spring problem that um, uh, uh, basically you know, makes those a limited life part. This can be considered a lifetime part. And I'm going to go ahead and show you this component in the FM detective. And the way that this works is the, let's see if I can get something to uh, point with here. The high power barrels, barrel cam lug, was always designed to follow the rest of the circle that was made by the loop of the recoil spring guide rod. Eliminating the loop doesn't eliminate anything because you still have the shape that always created the circle, the circle where your slide stop goes through when you install the slide stop. Um, the, what this does and what we have done is there is still spring pressure on that ball. And you can see the ball hopefully right there. There is still spring pressure on that ball and it is your recoil spring. And the recoil spring doubles as now as the detent ball spring. And in so doing, applies pressure to the slide stop, encouraging it to stay in the down position. However, it also allows the magazine follower control of the positioning of the slide stop and the magazine is empty to lock the slide back. And so um, we are just exceptionally proud. Uh, this is our chief weapon and modification designers work primarily uh, and, and, and some of uh, uh, Slav and my uh, work too from the standpoint of adapting this guide rod head technology to <clears throat> not just a full-size high power guide rod but to all high powers um, just as we're demonstrating right here so that replaces out the fm detective guide rod we can also confirm that we will be having you guys that like the arcus 94c i do too um, you remember that little shorty of a guide rod here um, we'll be having replacement guide rods same kind of uh, new construction as you see again the recoil spring applies the pressure to the guide rod hey one unique um, uh, feature of the uh, the new guide rod and i'll just show this to you in the uh, full size we'll keep the video moving along um, one of the features of 
this new guide rod um, is the original, you know, the everybody's, you know, normal OEM recoil spring guide rod. Um, those have a challenge, um, kind of a, a, uh, a bad design feature, if you will. I'm going to show it to you right here. Um, that design feature is this. It is possible to install them upside down. You can also <clears throat> put this slide on this way. It will go on the frame. The slide stop will install. And as you can see, you got a really bad angle and that recoil spring guide rod must go and compress into this part of the slide here. And uh, you will destroy the recoil spring guide rod. You may do damage to your slide uh, up in here as well and you may get, get it lodged in your, uh, in your slide as well. So you're definitely going to do damage if you were to make this uh, mistake. Um, the new BH Advanced Recoil Spring Guide Rod uh, has been, is designed with a, uh, it's a, it's a neat feature. It solves, if you follow the install protocol, you will eliminate the possibility of installing upside down. I'll show you what I mean. You see what I've done is I've left one of the tines above the uh, barrel cam lug. This recoil spring guide rod will self-install correctly. And now you see it is, in fact, installed. Now, had I done this inadvertently, I made a mistake, and I just went ahead and I put it in upside down like it is right now. But... It does not self-install that way. And by the way, you can't go further from here. You can't slide this on there and put your slide stop in. It will not go. Um, so if you follow the install protocol, which is let the guide rod self-install itself by putting the bottom tine into the barrel cam lug and it does, in fact, self-install. So this is the full-size version that replaces the uh, High Powers traditional recoil spring guide rod. And again, this is the BH Advanced uh, one piece, if you will, um, recoil spring guide rod for High Powers, all High Powers, all generations, all manufacturers, all uh, barrel links and recoil spring guide rod approaches that were used by manufacturers. Um, we have uh, adapted this new technology to all of them, and this is a lifetime component for all of them, replacing a, uh, a in fact, a limited life, non-serviceable um, component as well. Hey folks, thanks for watching. I'm Mark Allen, BH Spring Solutions LLC and BHSpringSolutions.com for High Power University.